Hi, it's Lenica from Lens Crafty Life, and I've got a load of goodies to share with you. I went to some charity shops again last week, and uh, that I hadn't been for for quite a few months. Some had been closed, others, um, well, they're just a bit further away as well, so I wasn't sure if they were closed or not, so I just didn't go. And this time I thought, well, let's just go to all of them and see if they're open. And they're all open, and I found some great goodies. Now, at the moment, I am actually um, working on a journal challenge for Dear Julie Julie. She has uh, She's here on, on YouTube, but she has a Facebook group. And I participated last month as well, and just to learn how to make a journal. And for this month, the challenge is to use only junk. And we were allowed to use kind of like these kind of little cards, which of course I did not have yet. And I'd seen them in a charity shop for three and a half euros. Uh, again, if you're from the UK, think 10% less. If you're from the US, think 10% more. New Zealand, Australia, sorry, don't know. <laughs> but, um, and so they were, it, it, well, the exact same thing like this was three and a half euros. And I thought that was a bit much because I only want to use the little cards. And then in one of these other charity shops that I went to um, the end of last week, week, I saw this one for only one euro. So I thought, well, yep, that will do me fine. So I can use all of these if I want to in that journal challenge, that junk journal challenge. Then I saw this one as well again for three, about three euros in a different shop, which I didn't go for. And then in this shop, it was again only one euro. And again, I just want it for the, for the little cards. So these are slightly smaller with, and they're lined, lined paper. These are blank. And a bit more creamy so those will be great to also to make little tags out of just to use in journals and even these divider cards will be nice to use so i'll probably take out all the cards put them in a smaller container and discard of the containers and then in the next charity shop i went to i saw this one now that's a quite a large charity shop they don't have they hardly have anything priced and they make a price at the till so i have no idea what i paid for this maybe i did pay about two or three euros for this one but look at what i got again it's a rolodex card and i think i'll have more than i'll ever be able to use for the rest of my life so more of these blank ones this is like a oh don't do that this is like a whole package here are more package rolodex loads of them and there is i don't there this is kind of like a box that is on here but these are all stuck in so if i take it off you see all the roller decks come out so this is a brand new never been used again with dividers loads and loads of these roller decks cards so this one I saw later. If I'd seen this one first, I obviously wouldn't have bought the other one. But um, I thought this was just a great find. There's loads of them. Ah, there it goes anyway. Okay, let's take this out because it will never go into the box. Put this one here and this one there. And now hopefully I can shove it back in the box. So, no lack of Rolodex cards. Anybody wants to do a swap with me <laughs> for some Rolodex cards, I'd be happy to do a swap with you. So then I, oh, this is heavy. I got loads of books. I've got a lot of books in this um, in this charity shop craft haul, and I also have a lot of doilies again for an even better price than the last time. So let me just show you some of these books. Well, all of the books I'm going to show you. It's a, it's a large stack. Let me just put a bit to the side. This is called The Tulip. It's in Dutch. And at the moment, there's a book in the in the shops. And it, ha it has all these gorgeous drawings of tulips. But it's a new book. It's about 20 euros or 24 euros. I'd love to get it. But I'm actually waiting for it to pop up in a charity shop for maybe one or two euros. Because about, you know, 24 euros for a book that you want to 
cut apart is a bit much so i found this one i think i paid only one euro or 50 cents for it and it has these beautiful tulip images it's about the history of the tulip i'm not exactly sure who the artist is um peter van kouwenhoven i'm not sure i don't know but uh, I thought it was Jacob van Looy, but well, I have no idea. But as you can see, sorry if the light is uh, wobbly again. But as you can see, it's it's mainly well these would be nice to use. It's mainly these images that I got it for. These beautiful images. So I'll have a lot of fun crafting with those. And here's the last one. Then this is a beautiful rose book and it was a bit more expensive. It was four euros, but it's quite large. As you can see, it is in English. The artist is Anne-Marie Trexlin. Not sure if I... Trexlin from Zurich, jawohl. Um, the German part of uh, Zurich, I think. Um, that is the artist. And here you can see why I love this so much. It's so beautiful. And I don't know why my light is flickering again. I had this one on, now that's worse. Okay. Um, so this whole book is on every single page and these are like loose pages. So um, these are just so beautiful. Um, I'm not sure if I can use these in crafts yet maybe i will in the future maybe i'll just keep it for a while treasure it and maybe just display it i don't know <laughs> i can't cut this up yet but aren't these absolutely stunning stunning pictures stunning drawings of this uh, Anne marie tracks lane oh, so gorgeous so anyway, I have to do some research on copyrights and how old this all is. If I can do anything with it apart from using these original drawings, not sure. And I don't think it says a year in this book. I think online I found it was 1966, so I can't do anything with it yet, at least not for another 10 years or so. But it depends also on the, the local um, Zurich uh, copyright. So I, I don't know. I'll, I'll probably keep it on display for a while. This again is a really special book, I think. It's a, an old one. I think I paid about three euros for this. Again, a bit more expensive. It's a music book. Now, I already have loads of music paper. But this one I just really, really liked. Because it's A, there's a lot, a lot in it. It's a nice size. Kind of like an A4 size. And let me show you here. Like this page is just gorgeous. And here it says the year... 1919 hope you can see that so this has been signed by somebody probably the owner in 1919 so this book is at least 100 years old which means i could probably do something more with it than just cutting up and there's these there's like lots of different booklets and these covers in it which are just beautiful. Some old vintage images of... Don't know who that's by. But I think there's some more of those. This one. Here again, 1919. It says... So I'll have to try to find out if I can do something with it. Make my own uh, digital papers or something. I don't know. I haven't done that yet, but would like to get into that. Now, these are cigar bands, a whole book. It's not full. It's from 1965. But I thought these would be lovely to craft with because these are ones, it's from Willem the, Will, William II. It, Willem the Tweede. It's a Dutch, uh, Dutch king in the past. But these ones have beautiful flowers on them. And these are not fully stuck in. 
so i'll be you see i'll be oh that one is stuck in a bit more this one you see the sides are loose so i'll be very uh it will be very easy to remove these and use them in crafting and here are some if you can see that some with butterflies now again maybe i paid one maybe two euros for these there's not much on these but look at these i have to go through those not much on these pages here's a bit more here are some really large ones where is it where have they gone these ones they are very very special so large goodness what kind of cigar was was in that <laughs> i don't think they were around a proper cigar but um well there's some more with with stacks in it so and of course the papers will be really nice to use as well then i'm really happy with this book i think i paid about one euro for it the winkel van sinkel it was kind of like in the old days it was like the shop you would go you would go to they would have anything and everything now this one is about hats and 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 caps and ladies corsets it says here and it's again by this guy leonard de vries I have a few other of these books. He's done some research and uh, in all the magazines and put it together in these kind of books. It's very, very vintage here. This is like from a, a picture from a shop with all these dress forms with ladies dresses. Now I have a lot to show you, so I won't take too much time on these books, but this is one of my great treasures that i found i only found one of these unfortunately i hope to be able to find another one because i i'm not allowed to copy these there's still copyrights on it so i'll have to cut it up and i don't think i can at the moment yet it's uh i'd love to show you all of these they are absolutely stunning images well, maybe I will cut them up. I don't know. It just sits in my bookcase. It's no use. Look at all these hats. Aren't they super pretty? And scarves. And necklaces here. More hats and f all sorts of feathers. And vests. More hats. Oh, it's just absolutely stunning. I would love to find where he found these images because he got it from, um, yeah, this um, this is from Paris, 1923-1924. That's the original that he found. In, uh, he got this, I think, uh, this Leonardo de Vries guy found this in all sorts of old papers, ladies' magazines. So I'd love to get my hand on, on those. But I think mainly they're in uh, those old magazines are in Musea even. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful images, adver adver advertisements. <laughs> this one is funny. Look. Oh, it's. A <laughs> I thought it was a bath. I thought this guy was holding a bath and kind of like his legs were coming out of it. But it's a felt bed. It's like um. A camp bed here, like a stretcher. <laughs> oh well. So beautiful book, love that. Then I, this is again by the same guy, Leonard de Vries. Dank u meneer Edison. Thank you, Mr. Edison, for um, uh, how do you say inventing the the gramophone. Now I already have this one, and as you can see, I found two more in the same shop. They were all in the same shop paid only one euro for it and let me show you why i got this because it's full of these old kind of like victorian images about the gramophone here this of course is a very fa famous image so these are absolutely lovely images and papers to craft with and since i have three of these well actually four because i already had one I will have no problem cutting at least three of them up. Maybe keeping one just to enjoy. 
beautiful. Oh, I've had a doll like that. Not as old as this one, but uh, I had a doll. Why didn't I keep it? I had a doll like that and it had like this belly would open and you had like these tiny little gramophones that you would stick in it. And then there was like a, of course it worked on batteries and then she would either, you know, she would talk or sing when you would put it on. <laughs> That's awesome. Why didn't I keep that doll? It's vintage now. <laughs> I had one like that, i totally forgotten. So anyway, lots of great pictures here. A lady talking through kind of like a telephone device. So lots of great books for ephemera. Then I found another Marjolein Bastin, Dutch lady book quite a large book again this one is called a small world a small world in dutch uh original price was 20 to 50 i paid i think one or two euros for this and again i love all these all these beautiful drawings that she does very large ones it will be nice to use in journals as journal covers you know, make envelopes out of the large pages. Absolutely stunning images. Really, really love the way she draws. She's very, very famous in Holland, but worldwide as well. You may have heard of her. Beautiful, beautiful images. look this could be like a whole page in a flip flip page in a journal beautiful now let me just put those on the floor <laughs> a bit limited for space here because i got more of course of course i have more <laughs> here i got uh, i got some little bits and pieces now again don't know what i paid for these because this was in the shop where they kind of make a final price these are eyelets. This is uh, flea stuff. It's like um, you iron it on the back of your fabric and it makes it a bit stiffer. These are some tiny little frames. Oh, these are priced for 25 cents a package. It's completely new. This is only 25 euro cents and these are like clothespins with pink little hearts. This was only 50 euro cents and it's lots of these beautiful metallic threads. And this will be really nice to do some um, stitching with on my sewing machine. On makes or journals. This is always comes in handy, a metal ruler. This is, uh, th this scores, it's not a cutting board, it's a scoreboard and I've never seen it by Fiskars. Which, of course, is a great brand. Oh, sorry. I hit my camera there. So, and I hadn't seen it like this, this small. You can even put it in a, in a folder, in a binder. This is a um, Marjolein Marie Bestein lookalike, but she is different. This is Janneke Brinkman Salentijn. Again, another Dutch lady. And I already have a set like this. They're beautiful papers. You see, it's a, it makes me think of Marie Lambertin, but it's not the same. Marie Lambertin is more detailed, I think. But these are just beautiful papers, and these are like place placemats, I think, and menu cards. So I can craft with those. And then I also I love this. Don't know what I paid for it, but it's an old uh, stapler. And according to me, it still works. And in a different charity shop, I found, previously to finding this one, I found this one. And just look at the box. Even the box is beautiful. And this again, it's similar. From this one, similar design. They don't make them like this anymore. And look, there's even old, well, this is kind of like newer, but this is really kind of like a, a vintage box with staples in it. I mean, don't know how old this is. 
but it's pretty old and they are kind of like bronze they have like this bronze color which will be lovely to use and uh, the the the, staple, the staplers are like this is like a, a general size you can still buy those that size now and this just look at this beauty isn't that gorgeous so this one makes me think kind of similar so and this one of course is the long one it has like a ruler on the side of it here in inches here in centimeters and then you can move this i think somehow gotta figure that out but you can move this up here yeah there you go obviously to where to how far you want your paper to be to have say a 10 centimeters to have the staple at the right spot and i've never seen this not even on a modern long stapler and here on the side as well there are like centimeters so that will come in handy it's absolutely beautiful oh i have to put it like there otherwise i can never get these in just put this in the box oh it's falling out So I do already have like a long stapler, so I didn't really need this one, but you know, mine, the other one is very modern and this is very vintage. So I couldn't leave it. Then I found this one. It's a small dragonfly punch, which actually I already have, but the one that I have doesn't work very well. And this one seems to work well. And it was only 50 cents then i got this it's a, a game it's called a rummy cup over here i think i paid 150 for it and there are these tiny little kind of stones that you can alter they're acrylic or plastic and i thought these would make beautiful little even stamp lookalike you know to make your product a bit more 3d to alter those they're still quite flat that they can go in a journal but uh, or on the cover of a journal but i really like the size of those well we call them stones then they're not from stone or game pieces so usually they are much larger then i've got another stack of books i got these and this one is an english book and it says mountain flowers this was one euro and here there's all these pages of pretty little botanical plants there's some flowers in there as well like here so these will be lovely and i like the size of it even the size of this paper just you know i could just add the full pages to a journal or cut them out and so lovely lovely images because I have some books that are very large with large images so I thought those will be nice I have smaller ones now this one I've got three of these little books wild plants um, mushrooms <laughs> yes that's what they're called and these are herbs like medicinal herbs and this I already used to cut out the images with some of my punches. So I got them mainly for all these images. And it says 100. So it's over 100 images. Of course, they're two-sided. So I've got 50. Something fell, but that's okay. I've got 50 images to use. I just have to use what side. Unless I put them in some acetate. Something that you can see both sides but these are lovely herbal images to you so these are some that i cut out with one punch it's more like kind of like a stamp punch all these pretty flowers so i think these will, these will look really nice and this is a different punch that i used So, lots of great pictures to play with. Some lavender here. So, 
I'll ink the edges and then of course I can, could use the other side but I think this side is prettier. Then this one has the, uh, I still want to say toadstools. Now what's the difference between a mushroom and a toadstool? I don't know. Is this a toadstool? Is that what you call it? <laughs> so lots of mushroom images in this one. For like a, an autumn journal. I'm not much into fairies, so sorry. I don't think I'll ever make a fairy journal. But <laughs> I may make a, an autumn journal. These are some wild plants. Again, beautiful images. Well, I'll go through it a bit quick. These are... Uh... Oh, this is the one with the little hearts. Do you know that one? We used to... You know, get those if we were in love at, in, in primary school. Like I was eight or nine years and I was totally in love. And I got this and it's like little hearts on it. And you would pull them, you would pull them off. Like he loves me, he loves me not, he loves me, he loves me not. You know, that's what I used to do with those. Kind of funny. This again is a, uh, a mushroom guide. I think I will keep this one as a guide when I go into the forest like last year. You may have seen my videos about all the beautiful, beautiful mushrooms that I found in the forest, like this, these. And I made some videos of all the pictures that I uh, made of those mushrooms, and there were loads of them. It was a wonderful year to find mushrooms last year, October here in the Netherlands. And uh, maybe if I go again this year, I may take this one with me and see if I can find them in this book. To recognize them now this is another pretty flower book paid one euro for it this is elizabeth harden and this is all watercolor paint and it's kind of like a teaching book so you can follow her how she does it but there's some of these images in there as well so these again will be great to use making tags or whatever now these i'm so so happy with again it's marilyn bastin this is small hmm, herb herbarium it's it's like herbs small herb garden and i've never seen this book before and in one in the same shop they had two copies so for 150 each but just look at these pages I so, so love these. And I love also the print here. Now, it is in Dutch, the script, the lettering, which is absolutely lovely. And that's on all these pages. So beautiful. Look at this. Isn't that stunning? Oh, absolutely love, love, love this one. With the butterflies, there's like, this is dragonfly on there. This has like a little snail gorgeous 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 so i'm really happy with this book i was already delighted to find one and then i found the other one you know on a different shelf this says wild plants in uh holland northern holland it's like this is the province of northern holland now i know everybody calls the netherlands hollands but holland is actually just a province we have northern holland and southern holland and then we've got loads more provinces so holland it's officially not the proper name for all of my country. It's the Netherlands, you know, big difference. Anyway, <laughs> so this is in the province where I live or the county. You could call it a county, a province. In the US, it would be a state, but we don't have states here. So the state of Northern Holland. <laughs> I don't think so. It's a province. So anyway, lots of beautiful... Uh, I have, I just saw a weed that I have in a garden. Well, something like this. I always pull it out. This one. I get this one in my garden a lot. I know it's pretty, but it will take over the whole garden. So I do pull it out. I'm very sorry. But I'll use its picture. This one you may have seen before, maybe. Again, it's from Janneke Brinkman, Salentine, Dutch artist. I already have this exact same book three times, but <laughs> it was only one euro. And just look at the even the, the inside of the cover. And again, it's it's just so beautiful. Lots of these um, drawings. 
by her so whenever I see this one, especially if it's only one euro, I just I just can't leave it. Because it's just so pretty, all the little butterflies. I have to do some fussy cutting. Oh, here again, an old uh, from that, I think it's, um, I don't know, I thought it was Jacob Maya, whatever. I won't even say it, a different artist. Beautiful, so love that. This is another book. It's uh, the in the in the countryside. It was two euros, and there's a, a bit less. But for two euros, there are enough pages. I counted the pages, uh, the images that I could use, and there was about twenty pages with images that I could use, and it was two euros. So that's only ten cents. Like for one page like this, I only paid ten cents. So and this one again, ten cents for this page. So that made it worth my my while is that what you say <laughs> it, it made it worth well for me i won't use the fish but uh, there's enough images birds the shells are nice to use like these pretty flowers so there was enough in there to justify the two euros that i spent like this beautiful page of butterflies here's some more these are the, the night butterflies. This I could use. More beautiful butterflies. And I love butterflies. This is um, a bird album. Again, Marjolein Bastin is the artist. I think I already have this one as well. But again, if it's only, well, this was two euros. So if it's only one or two euros, I just can't resist. And this again are like with a stick on. So somebody had to cut this out and stick them in its place. The colored images. So you had to uh, collect them and to make your book complete. And I think this book is totally complete. With all these pretty images of birds. Love those. They're always nice. Well, at least I think so. Then I had two of the same of these. It's like a cover. And these two, two bits come out. I don't think I'll use this. Nah. Well, maybe. Let me see. I saw some birds. Oh, here are some flower I could use. Fussy cut that. So I didn't really get it for this part. Oh, these will be nice. The little birds. But I mainly got them for this part. Uh, Jacobus P. Thijssen. He's um, also quite well known. Or at least I see him in uh, his books and charity shops quite a bit. These will be nice to use. I like the print. But it's full with these beautiful images that I can cut out. Black and white are nice to use as well. And more of these. So. I think. Well fish I won't use. But you know. I could use them for something else. So these are beautiful drawings. And the funny thing is. One was priced at 3 euros. And other, the other was priced at 2.50. And when I opened one of them it says 150 so this was at the shop where i used to work so we went to the guy who works there that that i still know and i said okay i've got three two books here three prizes which one is it gonna be and of course he had to <laughs> give them to me for the cheapest price which was 150 each so that will come in handy so this one is exactly the same got that also for 150 okay i've got some more let me put this down if you're still with me <laughs> thank you so much for watching um okay okay then i got some fabric and uh, let me get this one first this was one euro i know it's black but it has a lovely print on it and it's uh, the, the, the black bits are raised and they're from a velvet 
Uh, I don't use black often, but I thought this was just so, so gorgeous. So I'll definitely use that in something. This is just a shirt. So that was a skirt. This is a shirt which I got for one euro as well. And I thought this, uh, this is a sheer fabric. Which again is lovely to use. Make like fabric pages in a, in a journal. This I picked up and I just saw. I just love this fabric. And I thought well they're odd shapes. But you know I can cut them out. And it was only for one euro. And when I unfolded it. Just look at this. <laughs> they, can you recognize the shape? What's this shape? It's missing something right here. Let me show you. These are patterns to make bunnies. And all, so you just have to cut out all the bits and all these colors it has and all the the parts it says bunny love here's a lovely bunch of bunnies just waiting to hop into some bunny's home so not sure if i'll make the bunnies they are very very cute or if i'll just use the lovely uh fabric in projects what would you do <laughs> let me know um then I got this uh, lovely little suitcase, which I will cover with something else. And I got some smaller bits. I didn't buy it like this. I just chucked it in here. These are rose gold paper clips. I won't take them out because this video is already way long. These are some tags and I think these were 50 cents. These are 50 cents as well. There are like 15 labels in here of different shapes this was 30 cents these are some buttons let me see if i go a bit faster this was one euro and it's um english botanical plants embossing folder one euro this is one euro brand new for an embossing folder this again beautiful hope you can see it like that branches on there this is more like a structured embossing folder for one euro this i've never worked with yet this was i think 150 and it's a height and mini mot mot mm, from mot watch melts milk gloss white and you put it in your hot glue gun now i've got several so i can you know dedicate one to to this and then you put it in your mold so you melt it you put it in your molds and you've got like these not clay shapes but not botch not smelt shapes so i'll try that out these are some glue dots smaller ones and larger ones these were 50 a package i think this was one euro and it's a shape to make envelopes these are gold paper bags there was 30 in each pack in this one and in this one and i paid one euro per pack so I can alter those. So let me put this back very quickly. I got so much. I know. I know I got much. <laughs> Couldn't resist to go to these that where I hadn't been for quite a while. Now some more books. This is really beautiful. It's very old. More book. Again, a music book. Not sure what I paid, maybe one euro. And I love this. I love the staining. Won't have to do anything to these. Look at all this beautiful staining. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Very pretty. And there's even a vintage paper clip on it. You see, it's very rusty. Now, did I get another one? I got another one. Well, that's what I mean. I got another one. <laughs> in a different charity shop these are magazines you probably know or maybe do not know but i like making cards as well and these are nor magazine you know nor she also does um uh, amongst other things dyes and these are magazines they were only 50 cents each normally 2.99 50 cents i paid for them and they have lots of beautiful card designs 
so some designs that I like these are like doors that open so this will be great for me to go through make a beautiful tag and have a description I, of course I don't have the exact die cuts that she uses but I can you know I can use the uh, the ideas and the designs I have this die and uh, so I can play around with some new designs for cards and tags so I just took them all first I wanted like I just couldn't decide on which ones to take which ones to leave so I thought well let's spoil myself a bit and take them all and I love this book it's in English I'm in the Netherlands but this book is in English which is great and it says collage discovery workshop make your own collage creations using vintage photos found objects and ephemera and this was only 150 and it says tools and supplies hope i'm in focus and it says all these like basic techniques of course you can find youtube films you know videos on it but i really liked you know what um, all the descriptions what to use and you know the um, transferring and i just really liked it this is with um, using wax crayons and i'd never seen that before so you kind of melt the wax crayon on your paper or on your canvas and then you use that as a background so here again blending color this is melted gently run the quilting iron oh this is a quilting iron over the crayon drippings so here you can see that they use a crayon and it drips so i have to use an old iron for that but i thought that was an excellent idea so lots of uh, very vintagey ideas and techniques explained in this book so that was really nice and then Lastly, I get to my fabrics and more doilies. I promised you more doilies, didn't I? Now, let me just get them. Oh dear, it's falling down. Okay. So, I got... I got this tablecloth. Again, this was all at the shop where it's, they just made a price at the uh, at the till. So I have no idea what I paid for this. Probably a few euros. And just look at this. This whole tablecloth is embroidered like that. These are just so stunning. I'm not sure yet if I'll be able to cut this up or just use it as decoration in my home. Because I do really love this. The creams and the soft things, they're quite my colors so i don't think i'll cut this up yet then i got this scarf it has a bit of glitter in there i'm not sure if the camera picks that up but um it made me think of cheesecloth and i don't have any cheesecloth so and there's loads of it and i like the color of it so I use this as my kind of lookalike cheesecloth. The same reason I got this scarf. Because this again made me think of cheesecloth. And I often see people kind of pull it, you know, make it more vintagey. And this you can pull very easily to make it more shabby or vintage. Then I got this. It's a beautiful large scarf. And I got this mainly for these beautiful uh, lilies that are on there. So I have to wash this and iron this. And I thought these would make stunning journal covers. And there's some more on there. So absolutely beautiful. This is just, uh, this is a pair of jeans actually. But I just liked it to make journal covers out of it. i got to start making all this stuff now. Of course I have too much stuff, but you know... <laughs> <laughs> that's what we do we collect things this is another scarf i got it for the pretty trim the fabric is quite nice as well kind of sheer 
and this fabric also on quite a few scarves that i actually already have i used it in my last journal one of these flowers is on the front of the last journal on one of my recent videos and this scarf is a beautiful color it has a beautiful trim and it's a very vintagey color it looks like well it's not rose gold but it's like a rose rose kind of old vintagey rose color this is quite nice material as well and then i got this top and it's a sheer fabric again with beautiful roses on there and then lastly i got to my stack of doilies now for this whole stack i paid five euros which is an even better price than i paid the last time and i found these again with the little swans and i was even thinking i could make like a little doily book out of it and you, when you lay it on your table the little doily book like so you can lay it on your table and have the swan propped up like that isn't that cute and I have a one, another one of these, if I can find it, over here. This one is slightly larger, same kind of design, like a coaster. So that will make a cute little doily book as well, with a propped up swan. Then I got this doily. So five euros for this whole stack. This one, I'll go through it a bit quick again. This one is beautiful, it's tatting. This one is just some lace. So again, I just took the whole stack, picked out what I wanted this time. The whole stack, these are like crocheted with cotton. I went to the till and I just asked, okay, what do I pay for this whole stack? And she said five euros, which is pretty good because there's again, almost 60 doilies in here so you know that's less than 10 cents <laughs> per doily <laughs> last time i paid 50 cents per doily which was pretty good now i just you know pay 10 cents per doily you know that's life <laughs> i can't believe it so i'll probably go there you know maybe once a month just to see if they've got more doilies and then get them over a good price. Now the other stack that I got recently, one of my recent craft hauls. Oh, this one is pretty. They were a bit bit prettier than these. But, you know, 10 cents a doily is not bad. I can cut these out individually, make little flowers. This one is very pretty. These are like little coasters. They are like fluffed up a bit. Oh, this one. This one is another tatting piece. Very pretty. It's a bit broken here, but that's okay. We can work around that. These are two kind of like flowers. Could even use these as covers on a little doily book. This is another one of those that I, I had one like this as well with the little beads. So you put this over a glass to, and the beads will weigh it down so that it doesn't blow away by the wind and it will keep out the flies. Well, at least the larger flies, the smaller flies will go through it. But that was the idea. This one. Then I've got three of these. Very pretty. This is a larger one. It's not as pretty, but decided to take it as well. This is very pretty, I think. This is a um, beautiful, well, don't even know how you call it. It's not a, it's not a placemat, just, you know, some linen. I don't know, <laughs> a cloth. This is another one, similar size, but it's kind of like a broderie on glaze. Very pretty. 
this is again one of my favorites i love these these are the larger ones with the kind of like flowers all together you can see how large this is beautiful i think this is absolutely stunning so that's quite large this one is very pretty too it's um two colors see if you can see it like that and it has these beautiful little flowers on it and the flowers are in a slightly darker color then this one i don't know if that's sharp it's kind of like a little broderie on glaze kind of thing this we'll be getting there if you're still here i admire you <laughs> or maybe you just skipped skipped to the doilies at the end lacy bits and this one very pretty too this one it's a lovely lovely print and this one again quite large again this one is not at oily but i got it in the same stack for five euros somebody crocheted this these beautiful oh, it's upside down isn't it these are fuchsias very pretty be able to use that in a journal this is another lovely piece of fabric of linen and it's kind of uh, the hardanger technique and this one as well and this one has a lovely this is a bit larger and it has this beautiful kind of crochet trim around it all worked open i think somebody did this by hand not sure but it's what it looks like it's a larger doily and another larger one beautiful prints this is like a little cloth we're almost there it's like a little cloth and i could cut out the squares if i wanted to this is like, uh, well, I want to say Bettenberg, but it's not. It's just an open, an open doily. This one is a bit like Bettenberg, I think. And then lastly is this one, which is very pretty as well. I'm in focus. So there you go. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't watched it all, that's fine by me too, because it was an awful, awful lot. But I just, um, I was doubting, umming and ahhing whether I would share it with you. And I thought, well, after seeing Jeanette from my cottage crafts, I think she's called. Um, no, that was her name. Well, anyway, you know Jeanette, Jeanette Bakley. She did a lovely uh, video as well. So I thought, okay, I'll show mine too. So here you go. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.